What's up everyone, it's your boy XManny87 here bringing you another Storm Collectibles video and what I have for you today is the New York Comic Con exclusive Mortal Kombat Cyber Smoke by Storm Collectibles action figure review. I want to give a big shout out to the Storm Collectibles crew over at New York Comic Con. One of them recognized me and told me that uh, they watch my reviews so... Ah, man, I, I, I forgot your name. I, if I didn't get your name, I'm so sorry. You know who you are, but I appreciate that so much. And I spent like $700 worth of stuff at the Storm Collectibles booth. They also had a great deal on a buy one, get one, uh, half off type of deal. Uh, they were just awesome, and it was a delight to be there. So big shout out to Storm Collectibles. And before I get into everything, if you could please leave a like rating on the video, it'll show your support for my channel. I greatly appreciate it. Now with that said, Cyber Smoke comes with everything, and I mean everything you see here. So we'll take a closer look at his accessories first, and then we'll take a closer look at Cyber Smoke. First up, Cyber Smoke comes with two close-fisted hands, two opened relaxed hands, two pair of action hands, two pair of gripping action styled hands, and just like Cyrax, he comes with a little extra baggie with his dreadlocks in case you lose some. This guy comes with four cyber bombs. Unlike the Cyrax who only comes with one bomb, this is really cool because you could recreate that fatality where he's just blowing up the whole damn universe. Next up, he comes with this long harpoon, which is super freaking cool. As you can see, a nice sculpture, nice detail. I like the paint here. It's a little bit pliable, but it's more on the sturdy type of side and a little bit sharp. I like the sculpting right here on that handle. And then you got the rope sculpture going along, and it's really squiggly, but really cool. And the best part about this is you could plug it into his canopy, so let me show you that. So you're going to open up his canopy right here, and then you just simply stick the rope and into that little hole right there. And I actually like plugging the squiggly part that's facing up instead of down, because if you do it down it's gonna warp a lot more and it's just gonna point downward so doing it like this it sticks straight and now your cyber smoke is ready to snatch someone's ass next up he comes with these two smoke effects that tab into his torso so it looks like there's smoke coming out of his body and I'll show you how to apply that right now so they are marked it has an R right there to plug into his right side and an L to plug into his left side so what you want to do is line up the tabs and make sure that you tuck them inside his vest so I start with the front one first, and then work my way to the back right here, and then, boom, just plug them in till they're nice and flush, and then do the same on the other side. And now you can have him emitting smoke through his body, so this looks really cool. Man, I need a vest like that, something where I can, like, just vape internally. There we go. That should be the next Cyber Lin Kuei character name, Vape. Cyber Vape. Next up, he comes with the cybernetic type of crane, which is really cool, nicely sculpted, nicely detailed, and articulated as well. So it hinges at the bottom, so you can move that up and down like so. It hinges at the top, so back and forth. Then the top piece right here swivels, and the hooks right here, they clamp, so that's really cool. So on his shoulder pads, he has four tabs right here. So um, there is a small tab and larger tab right here. So you're just going to match it like so. Plug that in. I like to plug this from the back and then move it along to the front. And once it's clamped on there, it is very sturdy. It does not drop. It holds it really well. And to drop the bomb, all you got to do is unclamp the hooks and boom. And to cover the paint and sculpt, if you saw my Cyrax review, well, you pretty much know what to expect, except he's in purple. And I like the paint because purple is one of my favorite colors, so it looks so good on this. It kind of has a metallic-y, but not metallic-y type of paint job. I don't know. It's interesting and unique. I, I, I just like it. Now, I do want to bring up that inside the canopy here, the texturing and sculpting is much cleaner than on the Cyrax one and the wiring on the paint as well, um, especially when it comes with these little, I don't know, I guess they're buttons, dial pad or something. <laughs> and looking at the canopy on the Cyrax is not as clean like the dial pad or whatever they are, buttons. Uh, it looks like it's been smudged over and especially with the circuitry, uh, the wiring, the paint, it looks very sloppy. And it's not as clean and uh, texturized as this one on the smoke. So, as you can see, big difference. Just taking a quick look at the rest of them. Again, same like Cyrax, but I really dig this paint. And you got the dreadlocks that are still pliable. You know, got some padding there. Lower legs, still got that padded skirt to protect the cyber ball. So, nothing to protect the cyber butt, though. 
And you got the knee pads, armored knee pads, armored shin guards, and sculpting on the boots. So, again, overall, same as Cyrax, just a different color, but it still looks good, and I'm a sucker for color. So, but just like the Mortal Kombat game, they had different characters that wore the same costume, just different colors. And I can't wait to get Sector next. And now to cover articulation with Smoke, his head moves up that far, moves down that low. It's on a ball joint, so it does rock around, and he's got pivot, moves left and right. Shoulders move up that far, and it has the shoulder swivel. It's got the butterfly rocker joint. It moves down all around. Got the bicep swivel, double jointed elbows that bend in more than 90 degrees. He's got the wrist swivel and that ball jointed wrist peg that you can move in any direction. He has an upper diaphragm joint that moves that far down and that far back. It also swivels, pivots, and rocks around. Same goes with the waist. It swivels, pivots, rocks around, and it's so cool like the Cyrax, the vest, you don't have to worry about it hindering any type of diaphragm movement so you can get great motion out of him. Legs spread that far apart so you can get a full split with this guy. His legs move that far high and that far back and you get his full split this way. Ball joint at the leg that rocks around. He's got thigh swivel. Double jointed knees and no heel to the cyber ass. His ankles move that far up. Very good. Down that low. Very, very good. And he's got some swivel and pivot and you got the toe joint. For some size comparisons, here he is next to Cyrax. Here he is next to Ermac and his fellow New York Comic Con exclusive buddy, Special Edition Scorpion. Here he is next to a Marvel Legends Paladin. And finally, here he is next to the NECA Predator and Xenomorph Alien. And this works well since Predator and Alien have crossed over in, in the Mortal Kombat 10 game, so you can make this work. Alright guys, and now to wrap things up, just like Cyrax, this figure is absolutely amazing with the sculpt, paint, details, articulation. The one thing I give this figure over Cyrax is the accessories. It's like accessories galore with this figure. Probably like 15 accessories. Um, he has a lot more fun factor to him because of that. So if you were to ask me who you'd rather get, Cyrax or Smoke, I would say go with Smoke. Just because those accessories are awesome. Accessories make a big difference. And my final rating for this guy is a 10 out of 10. Total awesomeness, just like Cyrax. It is freaking amazing what Storm Collectibles is doing with this Mortal Kombat line. And I really hope they get to tackle more Cyberlink Quay ninjas. I know they got Sector coming out, but I would really love to see a Cyber Sub Zero and Frost. Definitely Frost. I probably want her more than I want a Cyber Sub Zero. So that would be super cool if they do that. So that was my review. Please drop a like rating on the video, comment, we'll chat about it. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. Link is in the description below. Get your Storm Collectibles Mortal Kombat figures at Big Bad Toy Store. Link is in the description below. Share and subscribe if you're new. Enjoy the pics at the end of the video. See you on the next review. Peace, peace.